it's bonus video time for our sticky nav bar menu videos. So in our last video we wrapped up seeing this stuck to the bottom and we can click around and have this nice navigation. Now we're going to see that push to the top. So simply navigate in your bubble editor to the property editor for this particular item for the floating group and we're going to pin that to the top. Now notice, let's see what happens. Where is it? Um, so one of the things you have to do in bubble is you got to take this thing up to the position that you want it to be in when it's floating and kind of like its final resting place <laughs> as it were so it'll be there forever um, and then another thing of course that we might want to do here is because we added 70 pixels there on all of these we might want to add 70 so that way we get this nice look and feel and then note that if you um, were kind of following along for the um, the workflows where we change the scroll position okay everything updates uh, accordingly so that's fantastic I'm actually surprised because when we go to two here we're just going to take a peek at our workflow it's still set at 300 so I guess the the pixel orientation works out uh, quite quite well then as you navigate with these new navigation scroll to um, directives. Now imagine that you wanted to have this go to different pages. This is the menu bar and these you have little text items that are that are different uh, menu elements or something like that. Well head over to the building a menu uh, building a mobile menu video over in the yoga app that's also on the channel. Link to it below and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.